Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to edit your videos quicker and faster using this powerful AI video editing tool so that you're spending less time trying to edit your videos on your computer, trying to learn Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro and more time creating content so that you can produce more results in your business or pursuit. We live in a day and age of consuming so much video content online such as on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube that it only is a natural step for any one, any individual or business to go online and have some sort of presence, especially on video. But the bottom line is you probably don't know how to edit your own videos or you don't have the capital budget to hire a video editor, especially if you're just starting out. So therefore, I'm gonna reveal this tool that can basically edit your videos for you. With this video editor, which is powered by artificial intelligence, it will automatically cut those awkward silences. So let's say you're talking and then there's a long pause and then you continue on the AI will find those and then cut it automatically for you you can of course turn your longer form videos into shorter form clips making it ideal for YouTube shorts TikTok Instagram reels and social ads another great feature is that it will automatically add those subtitles for you and translations and another feature is that it will automatically find a background music that's appropriate to your video all right with that said the tool that can do this all for you is called WiseCut now WiseCut is browser Based, meaning you, there's nothing to install on your desktop or on mobile. Everything is done on your browser. To best demonstrate how WiseCut works, I recorded a little clip that we can play around with. And uh, here's the original video. I'll show you and play it right now. Hey guys, testing out WiseCut to see how it performs and whether it will remove those awkward silences in this video. So I'm gonna intentionally leave a pause right now. Okay, now we're back. I'm gonna show you a couple of things on my desk. All right, so here's a Rode microphone uh, video mic go to, and next to it is uh, a SanDisk SSD drive that I sometimes put videos on. Let's now end it. But before I end it, I'll say goodbye. So that's the original file. Let's now bring the edited version uh, after processing through WiseCut. Hey guys, testing out WiseCut to see how it performs and whether it will remove those awkward silences in this video. So I'm gonna intentionally leave a pause right now. Okay, now we're back. I'm gonna show you a couple of things on my desk. All right, so here's a Rode microphone uh, video mic go to, and next to it is uh, a SanDisk SSD drive that I sometimes put videos on. Let's now end it. Before I end it, I'll say goodbye. All right, so as you saw, you may have noticed that WiseCut automatically removed those silences, especially at the beginning where I said uh, I would intentionally put a pause right there and then it automatically did that. So after processing it through WiseCut, here's a summary of what it actually did. It removed six seconds worth of awkward silences, three jump cuts created, and then 19 lines of subtitles created. In addition, it also enhanced the audio and removed background noise. So all this can be adjusted and let me show you now how you can process your videos using WiseCut. Firstly, with WiseCut, you definitely can sign up for free. So they do have a free plan and you're given up to 30 minutes of processing each month so if you do have let's say one video that's 30 minutes then that is the limit but if you do have a couple of short videos then you're gonna have quite a bit of room there now the resolution is a little lower so it's 70 720p max and the storage you get is two gigabytes file length 30 minutes per file file size is one gigabyte per file and there will be a watermark as you can see with my demo video right here but after watching this video and giving wisecard a try and seeing if it's a good fit for you and your business and let's say you do want to take it more seriously then you can always upgrade to the starter or professional plan which starts at ten dollars per month build annually which gives you eight hours of footage uh, per month or processing that is 1080p uh, quality which is a better quality of course than the 720 and then if you really want to go uh, high quality then you get 4k max on the professional plan uh, but for the regular user really the starter plan is enough so no watermarks on both paid plans but that's the pricing and plans otherwise you can sign up for free and use its features after signing up this is what the homepage looks like you can see your latest project it's really easy to use all you need to do to start a new project is to click that new project button and here we are going to upload our video files and we'll click on add media simply drag your files or if it's a single video file just drag it here or you can browse for the file here's my 30 second demo clip I'll drag and drop it right here and now we can upload the file enter a project name and then the spoken language in your video so 
I'll select English. And below that, you're given some processing options. The first one is smooth cuts. Now, do you want less of those cuts in your silences and making it sound a little more natural? Then you wanna make sure you enable that. Otherwise, if you wanna kind of cut to the chase in your video and get straight to the point, you wanna make sure you disable it. Because I noticed when I actually enabled it, it didn't detect some of the silences where I wanted those cut. So if you do want to go really extreme with the cuts, then disable this. Auto cut silences. Now this will identify the pauses and delete them automatically. Smart background music. I don't recommend this, especially if you're posting on TikTok or Instagram. You want to make sure you add the music when you're actually uploading your video on those platforms. So in this case, I will disable it. But part of that option is auto ducking. So it'll automatically lower the volume when you're actually speaking and then increase the volume when you're not. Auto punch in and out will have this kind of effect where it's zooming in on you or whatever object and then zooming out again. So that's that kind of effect if you want to enable it. Background noise cancelling. This will all depend on the quality of your audio. If you've got, let's say, an external microphone attached to your phone or your camera, then you may not need this. But if you're in an environment, especially where there's a lot of background noise and it's echoey and you want to enhance your audio, overall then you want to make sure you enable this and that will basically might get rid of those low frequency noises such as your fan or your air conditioning going on but I enabled this and I always like to use this just so it can automatically uh, make my audio sound better do you want to burn in captions you can also use this to automatically add those captions on your videos I found this to be not as accurate but you can find tune it and tweak it and make any adjustments to the captions later on but for now i won't use burn-in captions once all done click on create project and now let wisecut process your video the time it will take will depend entirely on the length of your video the size of your video simply let it go if it's just a short clip like a 30 second clip i found it will take no longer than five minutes but if you go to project list you can see that it is processing so check back and it will tell you when it's actually ready by email. But what we're going to do is skip ahead and just click on the one I've already processed. It will give you a summary of what it has done and we'll click on preview and export. And then you'll be taken to the storyboard where you can actually edit your videos. You can adjust those cuts if you feel like they cut too much. You can also edit the captions or subtitles that it's added. If you click on any of the areas right here or the captions, let's say you wanna to jump to here, I'm gonna intentionally so I'm gonna intentionally leave a pause. It will jump to that actual scene. And with each scene, you can edit. So you're given the option to play this scene. You can also play from the scene until the end of the video. You can also trim the scene. You can change the scene volume and enable things like, you know, the volume uh, medium, high, uh, low. You can also uh, duplicate this scene. Uh, there's also configuring the scene framing. Uh, we've got change scene type, add overlay scene, and then we've got edit subtitles. We've also got enable scene splitting, which we've already covered, and removing the scene altogether. The scenes that are grayed out are the ones that have been deleted. But let's say Wisecut deleted a scene that you actually wanted in the video. All you need to do is restore that particular scene. So I'll click on restore scene, and then now it's back. So feel free to edit your video in the storyboard mode. And once you're done, you can go to translations and play around with these if you do wanna have your video translated. There's also music, which which I didn't quite uh, recommend using. And then settings goes back to some of those settings such as uh, smart background music and burning captions, things like that. You can go back to auto cut settings right here and then choosing smooth cuts or no cuts. Once you're actually ready to download your edited video, go to preview and export, and then you can click on export video. Again, if you do wanna save in higher quality such as 1080p, then you wanna make sure you upgrade. Otherwise you can leave it as is, which is 720p. Also choosing the size if you wish and then clicking on export video once again. Apart from that, that is how to quickly and easily edit your videos using Wisecut. I know for a fact with my video editor, I get him to edit those awkward silences so that when my viewers watch, they're not having to watch those awkward silences. And so my video is more punchier and gets straight to the point, making it more engaging. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you. In the meantime, do give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video.